here at Viking Mesa U.S. Headquarters with another quick tip video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the registration sensor on a Velocity. A while back I did a video on how to set up the registration sensor on one of our other popular vertical form fill seal machines, the M250. That video got a lot of positive feedback, but a common question I get asked is how to set up the sensor on a Velocity because it uses a different type. Well, here it is. The registration sensor reads the position of the film's eye mark while it pulls the film through the machine. By doing this, it can tell if it is pulling the same length bag every time, and thus can alert the operator if any bag length changes occur. Also, if you have graphics on your bag, the registration sensor can then tell the machine the position of the graphics. Then you can set the machine to cut the film in the proper location to make a good looking bag. First, however, before we start working on the machine, it's time to have a safety talk. Be sure to follow your organization's lockout, tagout procedures and PPE guidelines before performing this repair. Do not perform work on the machine compartment of an energized and initialized machine. Do not bypass any safety switches or relays. Failure to use caution while working on the machine by not using the proper safety procedures could result in injury or possible death. Only authorized personnel should perform machine repairs. If you need help, or if you need to schedule a service visit by one of our authorized technicians, please call the service number at the end of this video. Now with that said, let's get to it. Step one, turn the registration sensor adjustment dial to move the sensor. Move the sensor to the location where the eye mark passes over the sensor while the machine is pulling the film. Look for the light that the sensor projects onto the film to see the location where the sensor is reading the film. Step two, use a small screwdriver to turn the dial on the sensor to the teach position for the type of eye mark that you want the sensor to read. Turn the dial so the arrow is pointing at the dot for the teach position that is required. There are two choices, dark and light. Dark and light are abbreviated on the sensor by the letters D and L. The dark teach position is for a dark eye mark on a lighter colored background. The light teach position is for a light colored eye mark on a dark background. Step 3. Press and hold the button on the sensor for 3 seconds. The yellow indicator light will start to flash. Run the machine at a slow speed or have a helper use the manual mode to pull the film's eye mark across the sensor. Press and hold the button on the sensor with your stick while the machine is pulling film. The yellow indicator light will stop flashing when the button is pressed. Make sure a minimum of four eye marks pass across the sensor before releasing the button. This teaches the sensor. Step five. Check to see if teaching the sensor was successful by using the machine to pull the film's eye mark across the sensor. The yellow indicator light should flash every time the eye mark crosses where the sensor is reading the film. Step six. If step five is successful, use a small screwdriver to turn the sensor dial to the run position for the type of eye mark the sensor is reading. Turn the dial to the dot for either dark run or light run, dependent on your eye mark type. Step seven, measure the distance in millimeters of two eye marks in succession. Measure from the top of one eye mark to the top of the next. Step eight, press the registration icon on the HMI to go to the registration page then turn registration on. Step nine, enter the measured value from step seven into the bag length setting on the registration page. Step 10, run the machine to test. The indicator signal box should light up on the registration page whenever the sensor reads the eye mark. This matches the indicator light on the sensor. Step 11, if needed, use the offset setting on the registration page to center your film's graphics. 
This will center the bag's graphics in between the top and bottom cuts. The offset length will vary dependent on the film's eye mark placement. That is how you set up the registration sensor on the velocity. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, be sure to check out some of our other videos of our machines in action. One that I think is pretty cool is the M250 packaging vitamins, but I had a hand setting that up, so maybe I'm a little biased. Also, if you need any parts on your Viking Masic machine, call the number at the end of this video. Until next time, happy packaging.